Hello friends, I hope that you're doing well. Welcome back to another episode of Dinkum. It is our fourth day here on the island of Wisteria, and we were quite busy in the last episode. We were able to even make a smelter to smelt down ores to turn into bars, and I am really wanting to have John move into the town so that we can start planning out the layout for our town. So let's check our journal. I think I have some milestones. So I have another entomologist milestone that I have achieved and we have documented all different bugs that we have caught and we're up to 11 out of 20 so far. So that is fantastic. All right, let's go outside and see what we need to do in the town. Okay. So it's a beautiful day here on Wisteria. The weather here is always so fantastic. We haven't had any rain or anything, but watch in tomorrow's episode. There will be some rain, I'm sure. That's always how it happens. So I wanted to make a chest for myself. So I need to figure out how to get some nails. So I actually think if I go in here... Hey Fletch, sorry, I'm, I'm a little busy, preoccupied in my mind. So we can actually make nails. So we have a couple of things that we need nails for. I have all of the nails for this. I just need to find palm wood planks. Let's talk to Fletch real fast. I have an idea. Hello there, Nova. What can I do for you? I want to apply for a license. And I actually want to get a logging license. So the axe hold allows the holder to buy axes and chop down trees. So I think the best thing for me to do is to chop down some trees that I might need. Uh, we'll have to see what trees are what. A lot of these are gum trees since there are gum logs lying around everywhere. But I just need to get a pickaxe or an axe so that we can just chop them down to see what is what. Hey John, welcome to John's Goods. How can I help you? I just wanted to chat. Oh, what did you want to chat about? Do you need anything? Hey, would it be too much trouble for you to catch a blue moon butterfly? Okay, yeah, I think I can do that, actually. A blue moon butterfly. Okay, let's go ahead and mark that in the journal. Uh, that should be easy enough. I think I see those all the time. So that shouldn't be too hard. And actually, John, I need to buy a basic axe from you. Chops down trees. Yes, please. Okay, so now we almost have all of the tools that we will need for a, for a full arsenal of tools down here. I think the only thing that we're missing is a shovel, which I will get that eventually. But for now, we're going to chop down some trees and try to figure out which ones are the uh, the ones we need for the palm wood. I'm just assuming that it will kind of look like a palm tree, which is why we're not really finding any of those next to the beach for some reason. So they must be somewhere on a different biome. Uh, maybe somewhere over here in the tropics. Yeah, I think the tropics is where we will find those at. Okay, let's go ahead and head over there. So I hope that you guys are having a wonderful day. I just love this game so much. I have a lot of ideas that we can do. And I'm hoping that we can help each other out. You guys can help request what things we do in the, uh, the island. I'm just still trying to get used to this game and all of the me mechanics. And they're adding in new things all of the time. So it's always so fun when there's new things to check out. Can I climb this? I can jump up there. Okay, I think I see some palm wood up there, but as you can see, we have an, an emu uh, really like... Oh, he died. Well, that helps me out. Oh my gosh, giant drumsticks. I'm sorry, Birdo. I really didn't uh, hire these guys or anything. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's chop this down and see if it'll give us the logs that we need. I think I only needed one. But we'll get a couple just in case. I don't want to run back over here and try to grab more. Okay, let's see. Or palm wood. I really think we just need one. So let's see. Uh, What was I doing? I had it marked over there, but I guess it got rid of it after I pinned John's request. So he wants a blue moon butterfly. I think that's what this is. Look at me go. I'm actually doing stuff today. I feel amazing. <laughs> I've been having so many problems with getting quests done and stuff that I've been 
a little overwhelmed by it all, but that's not the point of this. We're supposed to have fun. But look at this. I've already caught John his butterfly, which should get us on good terms with having him move in, which he's already going to do. I meant to talk to Fletch about that. Welcome to John Goods. I want to talk to you. Uh, this is for you. Oh, you found a blue moon butterfly. I sure did. You beauty. You always pull through for me, Nova. Why don't I give you this in exchange for helping me out? Oh, and he gave me some jam toast. Brekkie bread. <laughs> Brekkie bread. That's so cute. Okay, let's go talk to Fletch about John. Since I have that on my noggin. Just forgot about that. Alright. Hey, Fletch. Hello there, Nova. What can I do for you? Let's talk about the town. Let's see. What exactly can I help you with? Can I see the deeds? Okay, here are our current deeds. Okay, so we got three things here. We have a shop deed, a bulletin board, and a wish fountain deed. Okay, we want the shop deed. I think that's what will bring John here. We're going to need lots of stuff, and that will put the town dead. It will increase to 75,000 dings. Okay. Okay, so we're going to apply for a shop deed. Just so you know, this will put the town into debt. Oh, don't worry, we'll pay it off in no time. There is a donation box here in the base tent. So we're going to apply for the shop deed. Let's do it. Great, we're all set. I'll give you the deed so you can decide where to place it. Once it's placed, check the deposit box on the build site. We won't be able to start construction until we have all the required materials. So the quicker we have everything we need, the quicker we can start construction. Oh, how wonderful. All right, we have the deed ready to go. So here is the donation box behind her. So we have, you know, quite a bit of debt to take care of, but that shouldn't be a problem at all. So we got to figure out where to put John's uh, store. I kind of want it next to the base tent somewhere. But we will end up moving things around. So everything that we put down is not set in stone, luckily. But let's go ahead and take care of my, my chest problem. Because look, I'm getting so full of stuff. Okay, let's bring out the palm woods and throw it back in there. I actually have some things I need to sell to John. Okay, let's shred this up. And let's grab that. Let me make another one just in case. I cannot remember how many I needed for the chest. I really think it was just one. I need to make myself a workbench too. So I'll have to keep running over here. Okay. So do I want to make this? Yeah, I need to make this because I need to have things of my very own too. We'll get everything ready for John's shop. It just might take a little bit longer than we would like. Alright, I'm going to throw this inside of my house here or my little tent my very humble tent put that there and i'm going to throw a lot of the things that i really don't need into here so i will be right back all right so i took care of some inventory management i'm keeping a few things on me like my building materials so that i can put those into the store so i can keep track of that so i'm thinking the best place for us to put john's store would probably be right here. Uh, let's see if there's enough room. Uh, it's not really going to fit, is it? Not on level ground. Would it work over here, you think? I guess we have to move ourselves. Uh, I don't want to be too far from town. It would be a nice place for people to stop to uh, visit. Maybe like right here. Yeah, I think this might be a good place. Let's see. Next to the ocean. We can always move it, so don't forget that. Okay, I think I like this. Here you go, it's right next to the beach. Alright, so let's read this. Building materials are required to begin construction. Oh, <gasps> it's raining! That's so funny, I was talking about that earlier, how it's not raining, and now it is. Okay, so we actually need a palm wood plank. We need more of those, we'll have to go back. I'll throw all the nails that I'm not using in there. And there we go. Is there a way for me to track what I need for this? Mmm, probably not. That's so funny that it's raining now. Well, look at that. It does rain here on, uh... It does rain here on Wisteria. Oh, wow. Okay. So, it on my quest, it just says bring John. I may need to bring John to something. 
Welcome to John's Goods. How can I help you? Oh, what did you want to chat about? Uh, let's chat. I worked so hard to get my, the permit points I needed to get my commercial license. My brother back in South City worked really hard to get, to get me to give him some of my permit points so he could get his too. That's funny. Alright. So let's check our journal. Place required items in the construction. Okay, so I guess we just need to start working on that. I need to go around and find some more tin. So we will see if we can find some more tin somewhere. That is what I was struggling with in the last episode is finding all of the tin that we need. But I actually saw that we can find some over here. So we're going to swim across and hopefully won't have any lightning because that's quite dangerous being in the water with all the, uh, the thunderstorms. But it just looks like it's a rain shower, which is quite soothing, actually. Okay, got some tin ore. We've kind of cleared out this little mine over here. So let's see, let's find some more somewhere. Gotta look around. Yep, here's some. Oh, here's a lot. Oh, this is great. Okay. Start chopping this up. I'm gonna run out of energy before I can even get it. One more. There you go. It's okay, Nova. Aw. She's gonna be quite sleepy. I might... Well, I'll have to stay over here and just continue to work on this. Our energy is gonna be quite a problem with taking care of this. How far can you go? Can you hit it one more time? There you go. Alright, I'm going to take you back now. She's so sleepy. Quite exhausting to uh, sit there and mine at rocks. Look at her. That's a mood, to be honest. Okay, we'll have to wait until we get some more energy to swim across. Until I can make a bridge. Because I don't want to drown in the water. I don't think that would be very good. <laughs> oh, we're so exhausted. It's okay, Nova. I'm trying to find the best way to get across. This might be the closest part of the island here next to this river. Right, we're almost there. You can make it. We're swimming so slow. We did it. But we can't run, so we've got to walk pretty slow. That's so cute. But we will go over here and start smelting this stuff so that we can have it going since it takes so long for the uh, the ores to melt down. Which it makes sense. But look at that, it's raining. Oh, I hear thunder. Oh, that's not thunder, it's the smelter. I was like, that's a really long thunder uh, strike there. Okay, we are still so tired. Very cute. I might have to get her some food. But let's check our miles to look and see while we wait for my little character to feel better. Oh, I think we're okay. Alright, we're getting there. It's alright, Nova. You're so sleepy, aren't you? Alright, so we are starting to feel a lot better. Let's go check on John and see how he's doing. Hey, John. I want to sell some stuff to you before you, s you close on me here. I forgot I had some bugs on me, so I thought I would, uh, share these with you. Do I need to... Actually, I need to hold on to these bones, as weird as that is. Okay, how much can you give me? Almost 4k dinks. Okay, thank you so much. At least I earned some money today. I've been spending so much, I haven't really earned too much. Alright, let's go talk to Fletch and see if she needs anything. I think... Oh, these are done. Let's throw some more into here. It requires five. Okay, I guess we need to run back over there and get some more of the tin. And see how many nails we can actually make for the, uh, the shop. It might take a couple of days to kind of grind this out. So I hope you all don't mind. I'm going to gather some of these logs too because I think we're going to need a lot of logs for building. So we'll have to see. We'll have to go back over there and look to see how much we would need for that. But let's go back over here to this little area and get some more tin. I know it's going to wear my character plum out, but we're just going to have to deal with it. We've got a lot to take care of. That's the, uh, that's the thing she's still trying to get used to. Being a city girl. Trying to make her, her new life here in the countryside. So it's a lot to get used to. All right, we are tired once again, but we have at least enough for two uh, 
10 bars, so that should be good. I don't know how much it takes for a single stack of nails, like one thing of nails. It might take a lot. But luckily I had enough nails on me to kind of get that set. I really think the thing that we'll have to grind in the next couple of episodes is the the uh, the planks and stuff. So getting the nails out of the way is probably the best for this episode. All right, let's do some swimming. After seeing that shark in the river in the last episode, I've been a little bit scared that there might be a shark hidden in the depths of the riverbed. So that's been a little spooky to think about. There are jellyfish. I don't know if you guys can see that jellyfish. They kind of swim around in our, uh, practically our backyard over here. But isn't that funny? We'll have to be careful if we want to go swimming. Okay, let's go back over here. There's so many feathers everywhere. I'm picking them up because I feel like they might be useful later on. Not too useful right now, but that's okay. Alright, we are just so tired. We want to go to sleep. But I'm going to throw these in here. Have that cooking. Let's go in here and see how many nails we can make with what we have. It's probably enough. But uh, I want to uh, get this going. Okay, so it only takes one. And we have eight nails. So that should be enough to get this going. Should be more than enough, really. So I'll have some extra tin bars to mess around with. Okay, let's throw the nails in here. Get this going. Uh, will that be enough? I didn't even read how many I needed. Let's see. Yes. Okay, we need one more nail. That's so funny. And we need 15 gumwood planks. We need 10 sheets. Made by cutting 10 bars on a table saw. So we're going to need even more tin. Oh, no. Well, I want to have to... Finish up the nails, and then we'll have to get some more tin for the tin sheets, but let's go and start chopping up the trees or the logs into planks. We need 15 of the gum, 10 of the palm wood. I have the palm wood on me, so let's go ahead, or the gum logs. Let's go ahead and make 15 of these. And we can have this going. Now they should start stacking up into a neater pile. But we will see. I find this so fa uh, satisfying. Cut up these logs on the, uh, the table here. So fun. Okay, how many do we have? Ten? Do we need? We need fifteen. So five more. And then we'll go see if we can chop up some plank or uh, palm wood. And then have that going. All right. We have all of the gum wood we need. Now let's go and find some palm wood. Luckily, it's just next to us. I hate to... Oh, we have an emu. I thought they got rid of you. Maybe that was over here. The uh, dingoes were able to take care of my emu problem. Oh, we have a milestone. It's all good. You like wood, right? But what about square wood? <laughs> we chopped up a lot of wood, so it's pretty proud of us. All right, let's go over here and chop up some of this pretty wood. I hate to knock these trees down. We're gonna have to work on our stamina. I wonder if we can level that up or fix that because we're just gonna have to get over it. We have a lot of work to do and I can't just sit around. So what I chop up right now will just have to be good enough until I can come back in the next episode to take care of that. But I actually think I put some up. That's eight, so we only need a ten. So let's go back over to my chest to see how much I had for that. I think it was like one. So that should be enough. I know I put at least one and that's all I need. All right, we're almost back. It's getting late and I actually think John has closed up his shop. Is he out and about? Oh, he might even stay inside since it's raining. Yep, it's a rainy day. Oh, they're outside. Okay, let's see how much I had. Two. So that works out perfectly. Okay, let's start chopping up the palm wood, if you guys don't mind. And then we can have that all done. And then we only have to do is work on the nails in the tin sheets. So that should be pretty easy. 
And we should knock that out in the next episode. Alright. We're almost there. Feels good to get some things done. And I was actually able to help John with a request, so that's pretty good. Feeling very accomplished today. Alright, let's go throw these inside of the shop. Maybe they can kind of plan out the details of everything since I have almost all of the uh, construction stuff that they need. Alright, let's throw this in here. I hope I read all of that right. There's that and there's that. Alright, let's see. Alright, wood is done. Now all we need is two tin sheets and one more nail. Let's see. Did this finish smelting? Yeah, it did finish smelting. I can probably get the nails done right now, to be honest with you. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. And then I'll have some nails left over for any other projects that we'll need, which I'm sure everything will require nails. It just makes sense. And then, can we even make tin sheets? Yeah, we should be able to because it it's something you do on the, the, the uh, saw table over here. So I'm going to throw these nails inside of my chest here so that I can keep track of all of my building materials. Maybe even some of the feathers and I'm going to throw the bones in there too. Put those with that. Sometimes I like to keep everything organized. We can use a palm tree seed so that we can actually plant the trees back which is really lovely. Okay, everything is good. I have some brekkie bread in my inventory too if I get too hungry. I keep almost running into that. I'm going to have to move it. Can I move it now? I know you guys love it when I'm about to run into that, but it is starting to become a huge hazard for my character. So I'm going to place it maybe like over here. And then I won't run into it, but watch me somehow make a beeline over there to uh, run into it. It just makes sense, doesn't it? Alright, let's talk to Fletch. I know she's kind of out and about in the rain. I was like trying to figure out where Fletch would sleep at. I guess she sleeps in the tent. The base tent. Hey Fletch, how are you? Yep, yep. What a bloody beautiful Arvo. Don't you think, Nova? Uh, do you need anything? Oh wow, I just noticed you got a jam toast on you. I would like to buy a jam toast that you're carrying. How does 5k sound? Oh my gosh, she's gonna be 5k dinks for jam toast? Sure, why not? Just don't tell uh, John that I let you buy this off of me. Thank you. Thank you for the money. I mean, I was looking forward to eating that, but I I want to be nice to Fletch. Who, what is happening? Are you making all of those sounds? Kind of freaking me out, to be honest. Alright, I gave her some of the brekkie bread. I was very much looking forward to eating that, but I'm a kind soul and I'll let her eat it. There's John. He can't know about the brekkie bread, okay? Will he find out? He might. I feel like he knows more than we know. And that scares me just a little bit. Okay, what else can we get done today? I feel like we're almost there to smashing six or rocks for our daily milestones, but I don't know if I can do that. We might just have to uh, see if we can find some that's not across the uh, the river because I feel like we're going to end up drowning if I'm not careful. <laughs> that jackalope is making crazy sounds, or jackaroo, I think they call it a jackaroo. Oh look, I found 10 ore over here. Perfect. So I was wondering if the ore will replenish itself over time or this is all of the ore that I am going to be able to uh, have on my island. Like is this it? Is this it for uh, me mining over here? This might be it. Okay. Alright. I am sleepy once again. But what's new? We can check out our milestones or or nothing from smashing 11 rocks. Look at us go. We're up to over a thousand milestones so that's fantastic i am going to oh hi little spider i'm going to see if i put anything inside of the smelter and then i'm going to add some more to the smelter because this takes so long this is probably the longest process to do right now so having it go ahead and do it while i'm 
just away and doing other things. Okay. Put that in there. And I wonder how many how many of the tin sheets the saw will make. I actually think I'm going to get this done today. We will see. We will take that over to the saw when this finishes. Oh wait, I have a tin bar on me already. Let's see. Let's see how many this will make. I feel like it should make like two. If it makes two, that's going to be great. Let's see. Okay, it just made one. So we do need that other ingot that it's about to make. Should be just about done. And then I, I'll actually have the shop ready to go. I just wonder how long it's going to take them to build it. Okay. Come on, smelter. I know you're almost done in there. It's still raining. It's crazy how it's such a rainy day. And I was just like talking about how there's been no weather at all. And there we go. It finished. Now I can take this over here. And I had no idea that I was capable of finishing this today. That helps us out a lot. And there we go. I think we have finished the shop. Let's go over here and see what we have accomplished. Oh, this is so exciting. Building materials. Yes, let's put everything in here. There you go. All the required construction materials have been deposited. Construction can begin tomorrow. Oh my gosh, we did it! Oh, it's so exciting. But after such a long day of mining and chopping down trees and building, I think it's time to get some shut-eye. Let's go on inside and get away from the rain. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me today in another episode of Dinkumum. As always, don't forget to take care of yourselves. I will see you all in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.